Well, the college fall semester is winding down, so we welcome Jerry Farley, president of Washburn University, to provide an update and a look ahead. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Glad to be here with you. Well, it's finals week. Tell us how that's progressing and when it all wraps up. Finals week is always traumatic. Uh, students have worked the whole semester and they come down to finals week to demonstrate what their capabilities are. And it gets a little bit, a little bit of anxiety when that happens. In fact, I continue to have people that graduated decades ago wake up in the middle of the night worrying about going to their finals. But we're in good shape this year, very good shape. Uh, we'll finish finals at the end of this week and therefore there won't be any opportunity for more spread of the virus and uh, we feel pretty good about that. Now, what are you expecting with credit hours and headcount for the spring semester? Are you gonna be the same? Are you gonna be higher or are you gonna be lower? Yes, yes and yes. Uh, we find that students really prefer to have the face-to-face -face, and so the more of that we can uh, d deliver for them, the better opportunity it is for them to get their classes that they want and then move on to get the degree. And we're trying to make certain there's a pathway there for the students on the university campus and on the tech campus to work toward getting that degree. And it, it appears as though we're going to be at least, at least level with what we anticipated, maybe a little bit above that. Uh, but it all depends on whether the students come and enroll. You can enroll beginning a couple of weeks ago, but today and the next few weeks you can enroll uh, for the spring semester and it should be uh, plenty of seats available. Are you getting any feedback from high school seniors that say, you know, this just isn't right for me right now, I'm going to wait a year? You know, we did hear that uh, this past spring and past summer, but not so much now. Uh, they, the students that have come back are, are telling other people how it works, and it seems to be uh, people finding out more about it, they're more than willing to come back. Because staying out a year sets you back for your whole career by that year. You can hardly ever make that year up. So we are encouraging people to continue with their studies, show up on campus, and they'll graduate that much faster. What determinations are you trying to do as far as the basketball season that's in progress right now and then your spring sports calendar? <laughs> uh, well, uh, basketball is really considered to be uh, winter sports. Uh, and we are playing a, a, an 11 game home and 11 a game away uh, series of, uh, of uh, basketball games and it's basically our conference. So we are going to proceed through. We'll be, uh, we'll be, we're in it now and we will, after finals and after break, we'll be back in January 1st and 2nd, 3rd. We'll have some matches in there and then it'll proceed through January and into fe February. Uh, now the other fall sports that, uh, that didn't get to play this year in addition to football uh, was soccer. Uh, and and uh, uh, what was the other one? At any rate, soccer is in there with football, and they're going to have a, an abbreviated spring uh, opportunity. Volleyball was the one uh, for the spring sports coming up, and then all the other spring sports will be there along with those three from the fall. So it's going to be a very crowded space in that new indoor athletic facility. I don't know if you've seen it, but it is huge. And they will be able to take advantage of that through this winter season. Practice, everyone will, all the sports will be in there one day or another uh, practicing. So it's going to be really phenomenal to get our students out of the cold and out of the uh, rainy and snowy weather. That is a remarkable facility and I hope it serves you well for decades to come. Uh, thank you so much, Jerry Farley, and happy holidays to you and yours. And if you'd like to know more about the new law center that's going in, all the plans are being done on that, and you can get updates from Jerry Farley.